guys this is going to be my overview of the Todd Bag friction folder these were a new release this year at the East Coast Custom Knife Show uh, Todd made six of them I believe the first five were gone by the end of the show on Friday so I was very lucky to be able to pick this one up on Saturday really not sure how this was the last to go um, I'll get into the, the kind of story behind it in a second here but uh, this one in particular is uh, a carbon fiber frame with silver twill inserts. I actually originally thought that this was a uh, black G10, but um, Mark corrected me on it. And if you look closely, you can actually see the weave pattern. So it is carbon fiber, which is awesome. Uh, makes it very light. This one weighs 2.8 ounces. Obviously, some of the other ones with the uh, the titanium frames will be heavier, but 2.8 ounces, very light carry. <clears throat> it is a smaller knife, but it's not you know super tiny. It's got a decent amount of blade there. Um, I believe it's two and three quarter inch blade. Uh, the steel is CPM 154, and a um, little bit of a unique touch on this one. You can see the fuller is uh, heat colored, and that actually happened by accident during the heat treat process. And since it turned out so nicely, Todd left it on there. Um, I think that's just a really cool touch. Um, makes the knife even more unique. And um, Todd even said that he doesn't think he can do that again. So, uh, this is likely the only one to ever have that feature. So, just a cool uh, cool little extra to have on it, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, aside from that, the knife also has a uh, titanium backspacer with uh, Todd's signature kind of jimping pattern here. I love this. It's very, very grippy, but not too aggressive where it's, you know, tearing up your fingers. And uh, it just looks really nice. Looks very, very cool. Um, looks sharper than it actually is. And then on the inside here, you can see <clears throat> that uh, that awesome cracked ice finish on the titanium. And uh, Todd said that's all done by hand with a uh, with a Dremel tool. Actually, he does you know each little line individually, basically, and uh, creates the pattern by hand, which is awesome. Um, when I first saw it, I kind of thought it might have been, you know, like one big type of wheel with a certain kind of abrasive that he just runs over it and makes that pattern, but he uses a cutoff wheel and does it all by hand, so really nice touch in there. And um, the inlays, if you take a look at these, the attention to detail is just ridiculous. Um, there are no gaps whatsoever, you know, where these uh, connect to the uh, the frame you can run your finger over this and it's just completely smooth all the way around it's incredible um, you know Todd is a master <laughs> with inlays um, every single knife on his table um, was just flawless with the inlays and just in general too I mean his knives are very very well done and uh, what I thought was especially amazing about these is that when I looked at the uh, the work in progress threads on a couple forums, you know, showing how they made these, all the contouring on the handles was done by hand. And if you take a look at it, if I can get it in the right angle here, it is absolutely perfect on both sides. Each one ha has, you know, pretty much identical radius there, and just all the way around too. I mean flawless flawless job there even from the front you can see there the exact same radius just incredible incredible work and uh, the blade is hand uh, hand rubbed and not just the flats and the grinds and everything but you know the spine has been hand rubbed inside the jimping he actually takes a file uh, with sandpaper wrapped around it and gets in all the little grooves even the uh, the little choil here that's been hand polished and all the way down to the tang area of the knife has been hand polished so again incredible incredible attention to detail uh... this knife uses an internal stop pin like most of uh... todd's knives now um, and it's based on the glimpse obviously if you've seen the glimpse this just looks like a smaller version and uh... it's just super comfortable in hand you can see fits my hand pretty nicely and it just locks in too. I mean, I have no worries that this will close on me at all. First of all, the way that this um, tang here sits a little bit below the G10, your thumb is pushing pretty much exclusively on that. So 
um, you know, you've got all your pressure bearing down on that, and then you can see it's got this nice flipper uh, guard basically here, and uh, you know that's the intended purpose of this, you know why he left it in there, but it does make for a cool little uh, deployment method, kind of a two-step uh, flipper method. You push it, as you can see, that time if you hit it like you would a regular flipper, it wants to open all the way. Um, if my finger wasn't there, it probably would, but um, you know. You can just push it, grab the tang, flip it open the rest of the way. Just makes for a fun little, uh, you know, unique deployment method that most friction folders do not have. Um, washers on this, I believe, are phosphor bronze. It's a very, very smooth operation. Almost a, a uh, hydraulic feel to it. You know, very fluid, very smooth. Not gritty in any way. And it doesn't feel too um, loose, of course. But, um... You can really play around with the pivot. I was messing with it earlier, and uh, you know you can get it to where the blade just kind of flops open and closed, or where it literally will, will not open from the handle. So <clears throat> you've got a lot of adjustability there. Um, the handle is put together with uh, Torx um, T8 screws, I believe it was, and um, all the screw heads also have been polished. Again, a testament to. Uh, the attention to detail, and of course now my camera's not going to focus. There we go. So yeah, every single screw head has been polished very, very nicely. The pivot as well, obviously. So the only downside I can think of to these was they were a bit expensive. Uh, the table price on these uh, was 850. The titanium ones were obviously much more because they had Damascus as well, but. Expensive for sure, but to me, this is the best friction folder out there. Um, the coolest one, the most well-done friction folder, and to me, the most unique looking. It's just such a cool knife, and um, I really enjoy owning it so far. So if you have the, you know, the money, and you'd like one, I believe Todd is going to be making more soon. So, you know, contact Beg Knives to get on the list for that. But, in my opinion, worth every penny. This is just such a cool, cool knife. And it's one of those knives when you take it out to use it, people are like, whoa, can I see that? That's pretty awesome. So, you know, definite, definitely a head turner and a really awesome piece to have in the collection. So that's the bag friction folder. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care.